knives? <laughs> Thank you very much. You wanted to say what? Yes. Uh, my name is Andy Roden. I want to apologize to my best friend out in the uh, University of Arizona. I met him about nine years ago. And I slept with his uh, best, my, his wife. He was my best friend at the time. And it was two months after he got married. And, you know, the thing about it is, is Does that... Does he know about this now? Well, yeah, yeah, he knows about it. They got divorced about three months later. And then they got remarried last year. But the point is, is that she owes me an apology because at the beginning, now I feel... She, she owes me an apology because she was making passes with me and coming on to me, and finally I just said, I'm "Fine, I, you know, I give in. We'll do it." Well, so, no, listen. So listen. So the situation is this: now the entire time we're having this this wonderful affair, you know, it's romance. Was it an affair, or was it just a one-time thing? No, it was an affair. It was at least three months. Wow. Yeah, before enduring. So. And it was just wonderful, everything, you know, wine, roses, you know, beaches, it was great. And she'd only been married how long? Two months. And this is a month before. Now, I felt very guilty about this. I knew I had to stop. Didn't okay? Did you then go to the wedding? Oh, yeah, I was his best man. <laughs> oh, but this, this is this so very you hard. So what, what, what are you thinking when you're standing there? And you what? Because the, did the affair start a month before the wedding? Yes. Okay. So what are you thinking when you're standing there as his best man? I mean, I think it's good that you're apologizing today, but what are you thinking when you're standing there and she's coming down the aisle and they're getting married? What are you all, what are you thinking? How can I give this man the ring? You know, I'm like, you know, I feel like he's looking at me like he comes up and gives me this big kiss and, you know, I love you and blah, blah, blah. And it was, it was terrible. But in the same time during the relationship that we had the affair, she would constantly say, well, it's my responsibility. If anything happens, I'll take, you know, I'll take full responsibility for it. Now, what happened was when we were caught in bed together, she told my best friend that she came up to my room, she was real drunk, and I took advantage of her, which wasn't the truth. So she owes me an apology, because that wasn't the case. I want him to know that. I want him to know that I, I miss him, and I love him, and I apologize, and nothing could t ever take that away, but it wasn't, it wasn't uh, you know, a one-way street. It was a two-way street. And he's remarried? Yeah, they, they got remarried last year. And he's just, I have no idea where he is. We lost contact with him, and <clears throat> so. Interesting. Thank you. Back in a moment. Back in a moment. Oh. Apologizing now, they want to know. Well, I couldn't get a hold of him for about eight years. That's number one. I didn't know where he was. And the guilt was just, you know, I keep looking at the wedding pictures, and I said, fine, I have to, I have to admit uh, when I was wrong. But in a way, it's kind of bittersweet because the memories of the relationship were wonderful. And, and I wish somehow that maybe I couldn't take those away, but... Relationship with her? Oh, it was wonderful. It was great. And in a, in a way, like, I'm sorry I did it, in a way I'm not, but I, I'm sorry I lost his friendship. I was young, and, you know, I was a, a youngster at the time, and you know how young... Are available again? <laughs> See, this is what I understood. One of the points was that when you, the two of you were caught in bed together, she then, as you, you say, she lied. and she lied. Straight out. She says, hey, this, I was drunk, you know, I went up to rest. This, this was a fraternity room, and he took advantage of me, and, you know, that's how the whole so story got blown out of proportion. Her husband, your best friend, right. her husband, assumed that was the first and only time. Right. Now, I, ha I have no idea whether he knows this thing went off for three months, but I'm glad I got out in the, in the open. But it needs to be cleared up. Okay. I mean, why didn't you tell him? Somebody want to know why didn't you tell him? Or was, did, you all didn't speak after that day? Speak. I haven't heard a word. In fact, he didn't even call me to, you know, yell at me or say I'm thoroughly disgusted with you. He changed his, he just whitewashed me, you know. He just changed his number and no one ever knew where he was. He got so hurt. People know you've got to take charge. You've got to come from your heart. Whenever we've done something or something's been done to us, don't wait for the other person. Don't wait for somebody to change. But start from your own heart and say, what do I have to do to restore my integrity, to get on with my life? But see, That's see, the, key issue the problem is you don't sound sorry enough. Yeah. You, don't yeah. sound yeah. enough. Yeah. you know, really, because you're saying, I apologize, but it really was a great time we had. You know what I mean? Because at the time, right now, obviously, if I can take it back, I'm saying, well, you know, at the time it was the best thing. She was very supportive of me. I was young, and she was, she was wonderful. But now I look back on it. I mean, I feel bad for him because I hurt him, but... Can, you guys understand what I'm saying, that I, I, it was such a valuable part of my life. 
A that friend she, or her? Both. Okay. But you see, they both improved my life dramatically at that point. And she added a lot to my life, you know, physically and mentally when I was younger. And, and he added, added a lot as a friend. So I don't know how I could take her out of my life when she meant so much to my life. Maybe the, maybe the sexual part of it, but the emotional part, no. Doc, I have to It's say real no. important to know that there's real feelings here. And you've got a lot of confused feelings. A lot of people are picking up that confusion. Whenever you're confused, it's time to sit down with a self-help book, a counselor, a friend, say, I've got all these mixed feelings. I've got to work them out. I've got to make a new beginning or a fresh start. And you can do that. Look it out. Oh, no. They call themselves the cafe. 